even if you were to get the test and it's negative, remember, particularly with people who are without symptoms, that one of, the, one of the problems is that you can get a false negative. And so this graphic here, which I thank, uh, thank God we've got it so handy. So this is a graphic showing if, if somebody were to become infected on day one, and they are infected on day one, they get exposed, they now have the virus. Remember, for the first 24 to 48 hours, they're probably not going to have any symptoms. And for the first 24 to 48 hours, they may not be spreading it. But even as late as day five, they could test negative, and that be a false negative, because it's so early on since they got infected that they would be negative. And so in this graphic, on day eight is Thanksgiving. They go, and they infect their family members, because now by that time, they're shedding virus. They still have no symptoms. On day 10, they start feeling a little lousy, got a cough, got a little fever, body ache. They go and get tested. They now come back, test positive. They now are at a point where the test will be positive. But unfortunately, two days later, they unknowingly and unwittingly, admittedly, but unknowingly, potentially infected their family members. So a lot of this is timing. It's not always necessarily intuitive. It's, it's a little bit inconvenient, but these are the facts.